For the first time in 17 years, the two greatest players of this generation will not be competing against each other for European honours. In a move that sounded impossible at the beginning of the World Cup but looked all too certain at the end, Ronaldo has packed his bags and all his belongings, including one stunning girlfriend, to move to Saudi Arabia for £173 million a year at Al Nasser. If it was for the money alone, his girlfriend would be over the moon. However, moving to one of the most religious states in the world is surely a cause of concern, especially if the religion there is not the one you belong to. With that being said, Saudi Arabia is a country that has become used to hosting dignitaries and tourists for the past 100 years. The Ronaldo family should feel right at home and live like they did in Manchester, Turin and Madrid, except for a few rules that are non-negotiable. In today's video, we'd like to talk about a few rules and regulations that Miss Georgina Rodriguez would have to follow if their stay in the Arabic capital were to be a success. Number 1. Clothing Arab countries are well known for how their women dress in public. The frequent use of an abaya has long been endorsed as a sign of decency and modesty. It has also been a source of cultural identity and religious conformity among those who wear it. Arabs who refuse to wear it are often seen as non-conformists who have been corrupted by Western media and entertainment. According to authorities, Georgina will not be forced to wear an abaya since she is not a Muslim but she will be required to dress in a way that does not expose delicate parts of her body. These include her neckline, cleavage and almost the entirety of her legs. As a social media influencer, it will be interesting to see if her new dress code will induce a change in how her followers also dress. Number 2. Eating and Drinking as expected, the entire family is prohibited from importing alcohol and pork into the country and might have to make do with what they find in the country. Pigs are an abominable species for all Muslims, so the chances of finding pork in a country like Saudi is all but zero. However, we hope it won't be such a big deal since there is a wide variety of meat that is acceptable by the state, many of which they are yet to try. And the no alcohol policy might just end up prolonging Ronaldo's career, so it's a win-win if you look at it objectively. In the months of Ramadan, she is banned from eating and smoking in public places or anywhere that she could be recorded. Number 3. Religious Sites Unlike other countries, tourist sites in Saudi Arabia are very restrictive to non-Muslims. Holy sites in Mecca and Medina are jealously guarded and reserved for devout worshippers who make yearly trips to worship and fulfil their pilgrimages. If Georgina wants to visit them, she might have to ask for permission or switch from her religion. We suspect that the former is a more realistic option. Number 4. PDAs Public displays of affection, or PDAs, is something that people in the West do without a second thought. A little kiss, a peck or even a grope is usually seen when lovers are in public. In the Gulf state, the opposite is true. No one does that, not even married couples. So, we suspect that this law will be upheld for the superstar and Georgina who are not even married. To the authorities, they have been lenient enough to let them cohabitate without a marriage license. Number 5. Advocacy for Gay Rights while Ronaldo is off playing football, Georgina will have a lot of free time to do whatever she wants. And in theory, she can do what she wants as long as she's not showing the nation of Saudi Arabia in a bad light. Anything that suggests that she is advocating for LGBTQ plus rights in the country will not be tolerated. No rainbow coloured fashion items will be allowed. She's not even allowed to cozy up to female friends in public. Just as we saw in Qatar, no person will be put above the law, especially if that law originates from their religion. It is important to note that in the privacy of their 17-room hotel, these laws are not going to be enforced, so she and her entire family can, more or less, live exactly as they are used to in Europe. Cristiano has been given the chance to become the most successful player ever seen on the face of this planet. If Georgina has to follow a few laws to help him become that, I doubt that she would have much of a problem with that. For Ronaldo Jr, no one can be truly certain on the course his life will follow after this move. Will he move back to Europe to develop among the world's footballing elite, or will he stay with his father and risk becoming a lesser footballer than the world had predicted? Imagine if he stays in Saudi Arabia and only moves over when he's 18 to dominate La Liga with Thiago and Mateo. Or messy. We can only dream, right? That's all for now, guys. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Catch you in the next one. Bye bye.